Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Lucid. We're hopping back into Garden of Good and Evil. Um, we're, we had a huge battle last turn where I lost a an extremely critical fight against Ryla on his capital. It was very close. I almost won, but I lost. And I lost all the gear I had on my commander. And I lost every single troop down to a man. It was a 200 uh, unit sacred army. And they were totally annihilated. It was very painful. Um, this turn, and the next few turns, uh, I'm going to be acclimating. So it's turn 78. And I'm also going to do turn uh, 79 this episode. Uh, which, turn 79 is my current turn. So anything... I actually haven't submitted it yet. So after this episode, I'll probably go ahead and submit it. Um, so I had done some negotiation with... Uh, with Nazca, and I was going to build him a Tree Lord Staff so that he could overcast Gift of Health. And so that he could cast it, he was going to pay me mostly in Astral Gems. Um, it, it's 40 Nature Gems to make the Tree Lord Staff, and he was going to pay me mostly in Astral, which, you know, that's cool. Um, the problem is that... Uh, a, I, don't, I realized I didn't have enough Nature Gems to make it this turn, so I could have delayed a turn. But then I thought about it, and I was like, look, really, I need my nature gems. Because I need to do the fairy court thing to get uh, the queen, uh, the, the fairy queen, which will break me deep into air uh, and allow me to drop fog warriors. Because in a year from now, when he has even more battle magic up, fog warriors is going to be the only thing that kind of keeps me in it. So I think that's really key. Um... We'll see. Um, so anyway, I ended up sending these back to him. So I'm going to go through this turn. We have we cast ha Haru Specs. Did not find anything. Voice of Aspen did not find anything. We find a site here, though. Whoops. It's right here. We found Mirror Wall Palace. So Air 3, that's huge. And Recruit Sorceress. This is a huge site. I wish I knew it was here earlier. Uh, I didn't want to site search because this would be, a, and it was a very hard province to hold on to. So in some ways, maybe it's good I didn't find it because if I found it, Ryla probably would have taken it and put a fort on top of it. Um, but yeah, this is huge. So with Astral Two Air Two, um, it allows me to do um, uh, Power of the Spheres, right? which will make me air three. Then I could potentially put storm up and then summon storm power. And now I'm air uh, four. And then I could do fog warriors, something like that. Um, and I've got a ton of air gems, so I'd be plenty happy doing that. Um, I'd have to kit them to survive assassination, assassinations and things like that. But hey, I could do that. Um, what else? Um, we had some battles. I moved my army off. Um, I sent... Well, let's take a look at this. So Nazca's attacked me. He actually said as we were negotiating the Tree Lord staff, he might attack this province. And I told him I would not allow it. But he seems to have done it anyway. So this guy, he's got some Death 3 dudes. This is probably to spam uh, Wither Bones or something. Which will get him totally wrecked. We've got this Ill Earth dude, who is a Flying Trampler that's Ethereal with a Firebrand. So Trampling's really good uh, against Blood Vengeance dudes because it does not... Um, Yeah, it does not trigger Blood Vengeance. Um, so he's got all sorts of cool stuff he can do with this guy. He can... He's got a ton of gems, so he can do Earthquake. Um, but yeah, I think actually this dude's probably best as a combatant. All is actually a really weird effect for him to put on. Um, a Vine Shield would be much better because, especially if he's going to be fighting me, uh, all versus Undead does not work. Undead have very high morale, and all prevents damage if people fail a morale check. So this actually does nothing. 
Um, Firebrand's a good choice, but with Trample, it's only a good choice if um, if he's fighting another size six, which I don't have any size sixes. So probably better in this case to do another shield. Um, not sure which shield I would pick. There's a few good options though. Um, and the Wraith Crown's awesome, right? So anyway, uh, this is probably useful if he's worried about assassinations because uh, he'll be fighting a uh, water elemental and otherwise he'd be stuck there trampling him. So that's probably why he has it. Uh, but again, this is a bad choice for his water elementals also. They have high morale. So we're going to continue looking at the rest of his dudes. Yeah, these guys have a ton of upkeep too. Hey, whoops. Let's check out the rest of you. got a Malakui Priest up at the front. All these guys have amulets of anti-magic resistance. Yeah, these are really crap. These are a crap army. I would just crush this army. The only problem would be this guy. Which... Yeah, there are counters for. Probably the best counter for fighting this guy would be Shatter. It's armor negating. I could also custom build a thug. Does he have Astral? Yeah, he has minor Astral access. Um, I don't think he would be doing interesting things like spamming me with uh, with Astral. So, um, spamming Shatter. I could also equip a Dusk Elder with um, two Smashers, which do armor negating damage, especially if I got a... Uh, no, actually, I don't even need to cast Quickness. Yeah, and then they could just run in and womp all over him. Um, Trample's not very good versus Ethereal units. So I get a Dusk Elder, I put Marble Armor on them. Or no, I put uh, Stone Boots, um, Shroud of the Sacred Saint, and uh, two Smashers. And they would just annihilate this guy. Like, no contest. Like, he'd be dead in two turns. Um... Yeah. He, oh, he, and he'd have to script up a few things. He'd have to script, resist magic, a few other things. So anyway, but that would be very effective. I could put Phoenix Pyre on it once I research it too. That would be good. Okay, anyway. Um, let's go here. So Ryla attacks me. I think this is a scout. Yeah. I attack inside Ryla's fort. So you can see Doom comes out, Light of the Northern Star, Mass Regeneration, Undead Mastery. So that was probably 20 gems. Thereabouts, maybe not 20. It was a lot. Undead Mastery is, I think, five or six gems. Master Generation, I think, is like three gems. Maybe it's less. Doom is high, I think, or maybe Doom is not high. Maybe Doom is only like two or three. I don't know, probably 10 or 15 gems. Um, so my plan here is I don't know where this army is going to move. Actually, did I go through all my events? Natural, nature gems, assassination attempt, okay. Um, yeah. Okay, so... So my plan here, I, I was really struggling this turn with figuring out what to do. Um, one option is this army here can defend, right? Now, I don't know what, right, what uh, Nazca is doing. I don't know if they're going to if they're gonna attack or, or what they're gonna do. So, anyway, I'm here so I can attack them. If they move here, anyway, I wanna be kind of, keep this army kinda of close to Nazca in case he does anything dumb. Um, I also, I could move here, I could double down, I can say, hey, we're gonna have our major battle, we're gonna do it right here in this fort, we're gonna do it this turn, and I could move all my armies here. 
I have a pretty damn good chance of winning that. But I have a pretty good damn chance of losing it, too. And if I lost it, uh, Riley would have a huge stack, and he would just march it right on through. Now, if he tries to march it through again like he did when he sieged this fort, um, I can do things like try to burn the gems off of it, and it's going to be, unless he has a really good gem supply in scouts, which he probably will, um, it's going to be really hard for him to fight me. Because uh, I'll burn through all his gems as he marches. So, my plan, and I, I'm hoping he attacks both these provinces. So my plan is to hang out here, make a huge mega army, and fight. Um, otherwise, uh, I've got another thing I'm doing, which is, it's, uh, this guy is finally, I have, I wasn't going to move him out until I had enough lictors, and I got 25. So we're set. We've got all the lictors, we've got the army, we're moving on top of this. We're moving a Dusk Elder here too. And... Screw these guys, we're gonna take this fort. Um, meanwhile, I'm also, so there's 80 troops here. Mostly Amber Clan Tritons, which are really good underwater troops, with some Star Children. Um, so anyway, we're gonna be moving these guys on top. Uh, and hopefully, I'm bringing enough of these guys that hopefully they can share the Mind Blast attack and not all of them will die. And I'll keep on dead leadership long enough to kind of win this battle. Um, when I do win this battle, um, actually, and probably next turn I probably could attack here too. Um, when I do win this battle, yeah, I probably should. Um, he's not going to be able to use his army in here to attack me here, which is. I'm not super worried about it, but, like, let's say I only moved this army on top of this fort. He would break the siege here, but he would also attack at the same time with other units, potentially, and have a much bigger force. Uh, and if I move troops on top of this fort, the troops in here can only break their own siege. So I'm making sure he can't combine these two armies is really what I'm doing. Um, so that is that. And I think we're going to go ahead and hop to the next turn, which is my current turn, and I haven't submitted it yet, which it's been a while since I've said that. Um, so Nazca was apologizing for attacking, and he said he moved his troops out, which is fine, because I just went and took it. Um, not like this province is worth anything, it's a zero income, zero gem province, but really it's just a territorial buffer. Um... Cast Haru Specs, did not find anything. We cast Transmute Fire, and I got about a thousand gold. Uh, I cast Voice of Aspu, found three sites. Holy crap. That's not the message you see awesome, often. So three water gems. I need water income. Right, water income is super awesome, because I've got a Water 9 Pretender, and guess what? Um, I, I'm about to get Conjuration 8, which will allow me to get uh, Queen Water Elementals if I ever kill any of Ryla's. So... The second I kill one of Ryla's Queen wa of Water Elementals, I'm going to summon it. Uh, what else do we have? So we have a few battles. Let's watch this one. So Ryla has a little raiding force that's going to come out and play. This is a formation that he's been using a few times. He he does uh, living water, right? And then he's gonna spam banishment and uh, cleansing water, which is pretty good versus this chaff. Gem expensive, I think. Let's see what it is. How much is summon living water? I think it's two gems, and he cast it three times. So I don't know, six water gems. Yeah, it's okay. So anyway, he lost all his Lobo guards still, and meteorite guards, and these guys what times five, so that's like 150 gold. Is that it? Yeah, 150 gold. 
and then start one star child, so that's uh, 150 gold plus 90, so that's like 240 gold. Uh, just to kill a bunch of chaff, which, okay, fine. I'll, I'll do that trade. Um, here you can see we lose another raiding army. here are kind of letting me down. Trolls, they run. Really wish I could have won this, but you can see they're about to get to my back line. Yeah. Anyway, uh, anyway, that's a decent force, but not super strong. I wonder how many kills these guys have. Four kills, that's not many. That's one thing I can be looking at, is if I see a unit with a lot of kills, I can... Um, do Vengeance of the Dead. Let's look at the high value targets. Ooh, that's scary. That is a scary bitch. Ooh. Nine kills. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not going to be playing that game. So he sent his whole army... I think this was just a scout. Yeah, an Askin scout. He sent his whole army here, preparing to have a big fight. And I'm glad I didn't take him. 640 is a lot of units. Um, and when... You have to kill 640 misformed guys. Um, with all sorts of nasty crap getting spammed at your dudes by... Tartarian super combatants. Not really a fight you want to take. Um, not at all. So, what do we have? Uh, one of the big news is we're getting Conjuration 8 this turn, which means I'm going to be overcasting Well of Misery. If you look at how many gems I'm going to be able to put in it, I've got four, five of these dudes full of gems. So that's... That's a lot. That's 5 times 30, which is 150 gems. And next turn I will have 30 more. So, I think that's right, 30 more, right? That's my death income. 26? Yeah. So, um, that will be overcasting with a lot, a lot of death gems. Um, yeah. Hopefully they don't try to take it down, but we'll see. Um, it's also going to open up cool things like King of Banefires and other stuff, which I totally dig. Um, I can throw all my events. Yeah, I think I did. Um, oh, I didn't. Oh, we did. We went through that, went through that. Sorry, guys. And, okay. So, the other things that I didn't talk about was, uh, we, we were successful here, uh, in this raid. So he's doing the Mind Blast, and it's paralyzing me, but it's not really doing much damage. And his group's dead, and they're retreating, and that's that. So we were successful here. Uh, I'm moving these guys off. I think I'm actually not going to move them off. I think what I'm going to do instead... Well, this army's probably going to retreat here. And yeah, maybe I do retreat off. Because if they defensively move here, I'm going to be in trouble. So this guy's almost definitely going to move here. Um, yeah. I would love to trap these guys. Like, if... I don't know how I would have done it. But if I could have done it differently, I would be game. The other thing to note is Nazca has an army here. And what you'll see within it is uh, sea trolls and troll guards. Right, with a bunch of undead and a sea king, which means this is a fully underwater capable army, so I could totally get attacked here. So, um, 
It does look like he is preparing some kind of attack on Ryla. Because this would not have been for me. Um, my thought with this, so here's a few things. One is I want to build a fort here. This I want to be my province. This has huge, whoops, huge strategic value, this sorceress. Um, I want it, I want it, I want it, I want it. Um, I also want these two provinces. So I've got two high value provinces I need to put forts on at the front, right near the Ryland line. Um, which means I need to take this fort. I'm not going to fort these until I have that. Um, but I don't have a good way to take it yet. So... One thought is I'm going to move here, and if he stumbles into me... Great, ideally he splits his forces, but I don't think he will. Um, it's very possible he moves here and attacks, anticipating I'm going to attack this fort. Right, if... If I move here, though, he could also move down and attack, and then take one of my forts, and I take one of his, and he would take another one of mine, and I would take another one of his. Not gonna play that game. Not even about to play that game. So, I want to keep my forts. I don't want to trade. So I'm gonna come here. Uh, he could also move here and attack. Which is fine, I'll keep this guy here, patrolling. Um... Yeah. Doing that, patrolling, uh, I'll trigger Jim Muse if he moves here, great. Um, I'm gonna be, this raiding army, I wanna have enough troops here that they can kill it. Um, what I'm gonna do to do, in order to achieve that is, who's moving, you're moving, I think there's, you're gonna take one of these guys. You are going to be back here. Okay. So I'm bringing five plus one, six of these Knights of the Unholy Sepulchre. Plus about three or four hundred troops. And all combined they should be able to kill this queen if she continues to expand. Which right now this would look like, hey, my army's not here. This army can't even get over here. Uh, my army could get here, so if she moved here, this would be like a dangerous place for her to move, because I could potentially move this guy here. Uh, instead, I'm going to move the main army here, and if I fight this big army, so be it. If I lose badly to the big army, I'm in trouble. Um, I think he's going to probably spend a couple turns in build-up. I don't think he's going to move out. Uh, but I, I do want to defend this. So my guess is he doesn't move. But if he does move, I'm happy to fight him. Not happy. I'm willing to fight him here. Um, yeah. That's basically it for this time. This time I'm defending here, we're dancing with this army. The nice thing about having this army is I've got three of these archbishops together, which are going to be able to put up a lot more power of the sepulchre, and I've also got my H4 one who's going to drop uh, power of the sepulchre. The other ones are, I'm going to get way more protection of the sepulchre up. So, um, there's a lot of good things about having these guys together where I'm willing to take a major fight. Um, one thing I do not have is I don't have enchantment researched yet, which really, I was going up construction 7 to get the golem, which it would be, f um, three turns away, three and a half, four turns away could just get enchantment real quick. Maybe I should do that. Because that's the reason I'm getting the golem. Yeah. This will get me close to enchantment for... Uh, 100... To 300 will get me to enchantment 3. And that will be one more turn to enchantment 4. So I think I'm going to do that. And then I'll at least potentially be able to... Uh, drop anti-magic which would be pretty big in these fights. Pretty big indeed. Um, we're also bringing, I'm swapping uh, my Dusk Elder, this guy with the Scepter of Dark Regency. I'm gonna get this back to base. I don't wanna risk losing that. So that's headed back to base. Um, so I'm gonna do a little swap -a I'm sending a different Dusk Elder out here. This one's not quite as strong, but it should be okay. 
Um, and then I'm also bringing some gems up there so I can do things like Solar Eclipse and some other stuff. So I think that's about it. Uh, thanks everyone for watching. I'm going to go ahead and submit this turn, and I'll catch you guys next time.